for watching. I'm gonna show you guys my method of leveling the floor. The reason I said my method is because everybody has their own way of doing it and you got all the people who are gonna talk crap in the comments about this is how you do it and that's not how you do it. Whatever, all right? I've been doing these, done about 20 of them, all right? And everything looks beautiful when I'm done. All right, first things first is I know there's a dip here. I take my leveling bar and I lay it across. And I know, just to show you guys, in this area right here, here's where the dip is. So when I lift that up, it's even. The reason you see this black line is that's where the line is. So what I do is I draw a line, a perimeter. No, so I keep laying my level all over the place and I get this little perimeter that you see here with the uh, black lines going all the way around. I know that's where my dip's at. So I know when I'm throwing my level up in there, um, I can just spread it around. Some people like to like let it sit and just pull in. But if you do that, you end up with humps all over the place. So like I said, this is my method. It works and it's been working for me every time. And this is a uh, glue on that I'm putting down. Um, it's gonna be over the uh, dip when it dries and I won't shoot too many nails all up and around it. Pretty much just all the way around and not into it so it starts cracking. So next I'm going to go mix my liquid leveler in a bucket and we're gonna let it spread and then we're gonna spread it also with like a trowel or something to get it to sit right. And when it dries after about maybe 15, 20 minutes where it's almost dry, I could lay my leveling bar on it and try to see um, how level it is. And you just play with it, that's what you do. But if you think you're just gonna mix the liquid level or throw it in there and magically you got a flat floor, that's not how this stuff works. If anybody tells you that, they're full of crap. Ready to mix my easy level. I picked this up at Menards, preparation 323. There's a couple different ones that are tricky because they almost carry the same name. I think it says easy level. Make sure that you get one that says premium self-leveling underlayment. That's the stuff you want. There's only one bag of those. Um, this is the tricky part where you just gotta estimate how much you think you need. Um, it doesn't hurt to get more than what you need, but right now I'm only gonna probably use maybe 30% of this bag, maybe a quarter. I have a float here that's used for laying grout. That's what I'm gonna use to play with it. You'll see me do that in just a second here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this in the bucket and mix it with water and you want the consistency of soup, okay? If not even water, okay? So you want this stuff to be wet. All right, let's do this. Remember, you're gonna want this pretty soupy, so um, just add the water and mix it and see how it gets. Still too thick. that water in there. See how this looks. Mix it up. Let me add in there, uh, we're ready to do it, but let me add in there that um, less is better because this stuff, when it dries, you, you it's really, really tough to sand. I had to do that once my first time doing it, and I put way too much down. Not way too much, but just a little bit. A little bit more than I would have thought I would have needed and uh, it caused problems is what it did so right now I just took an estimate of what I thought I needed um, hopefully I got enough or you know to do the spot so that's all you can hope for but less is better put that bucket upside down right there get the handle out of there just in case it looks like I probably need more I, I think I didn't mix enough so underestimated that but no big deal right back to the drawing board so this is what the uh, float is for that's what I use it for like I said I don't know other people use there's no instructions I've done this about 20 times never had an issue um, I'm happy with all the results that came out with it so that's why I'm making this video so yeah, I think I'm gonna add some of the when I spread this down I'm gonna Go, go back to the uh, garage, put some more in there. And you see how you could, uh, where you could brush it, where my perimeter that I drew on, I could just, uh, you know, make it a smooth transition to where I need it to be. And that's 
what it's all about is getting rid of that little hump. That hump. They do make a primer for this. Um, if you're going to be sticking like tile right to it. So say you had backer board under here and then you wanted to uh, make your, make your uh, tile stick right to it. You would prime it. It's really expensive. It's like $20 for a little tiny jug. So they really get you on this stuff. This bag was about, I think, 30 bucks. 27 at Menard, something like that. So, but it's worth it if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. It is what it is, you know. You don't wanna skim on something like that. So pretty much right now what I'm doing is just skimming the surface, trying to use my common sense on where that um, dip is. And if it, as you can see where it like ended up, it wants to flow to the center to where that big dip is. So I think while we're both this house, it rained and water got up in here and the OSB, um, what do you call that, sunk down in and now you got this big little dip right here so we're taking care of that today before we go ahead and tile this entire house with uh, plank vinyl flooring that we're putting in. Um, after we're putting in, uh, right now we're putting in uh, blue on, blue on all of it. Or I shouldn't say we, I said I. <laughs> I am putting it on. One man job right here. So, I'm skimming the surface. I know that I'm, I'm getting the worst of it right here. And we'll be happy with the end result for sure. That, that I can guarantee you. Be better than that, what was over there that did. I'll get it perfect. So, now when this dry, not completely dries, but when it's about, I, I think, 15 minutes. I'm gonna take my leveling bar and put it on. I'm not gonna do it now because it's still really wet. So if I put my leveling bar on here in about 10 or 15 minutes and I see a little hump, I could take a little scraper and I could still scrape it. But if I waited a whole day, I'd be in serious trouble where it does not want to scrape. So you can't just pour this down and say, oh, I'm good, I'm leaving. No, you gotta check it. So when you do check it, and what I mean by check it is, with your leveling bar, you're checking for any imperfections because at some certain point, you can still take care of that problem if you overdid it. But like I said, I definitely need some more over here. Um, it's not, not all taken care of. Let me see if I can scoop some more of this out. Got a little bit in the bucket, but I don't have to really do some serious uh, fixing. We'll go ahead and spread this part out. And the only reason I'm making the video long so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing instead of just talking about it, like all the comments that are going to come underneath here where people are just talking. If you guys are so doing so much talking shit <laughs> about the way people do things, why don't you go make a video and really show how it's done? Because you probably have no hands-on experience, but you know how to talk. So even when you're at Home Depot or Menards, they like to talk and tell you what to do and what you need when, if you, if you were to be rude and ask them, do you have any hands-on experience? I can assure you they don't. That's why they're working there for 10 bucks an hour. So yeah, I've seen that happen a lot. I saw this guy talking to this lady yesterday about putting in a floor for her shower and I was gonna interrupt, but I didn't say anything. He told her to just mix her floor with water, uh, her grout with water, and I wanted to butt in and say they make an um, a additive that makes grout stronger, you know, especially if it's your home, you want to do something like that, but he, you could tell he was stuttering, he didn't know what the heck he was talking about, that, that's the whole point of my story. He, he had no hands-on experience, never done anything. How are you going to tell people what to do if you have no hands-on experience? Just tell the truth and say, I don't know. You can't say that. He works there. He has to make like he knows. But that's worse for the lady because now this lady's going to have grout that probably cracks. And then he told her you could use the sealer on a wood floor because it would get in between the joints, which is a crock of shit. They don't make a sealer, especially in the, in the ceramic tile aisle where we were standing because I was waiting for him to get done to ring me up to help me with something. Uh, that's not what it's used for. You don't put it in between uh, your wood floor joints. So that was a bunch of bullshit. 
And I wanted to say you don't put a wood floor in a kitchen or in a bathroom, especially in a bathroom. But he was recommending a wood floor in a bathroom. But who am I to put in? I kept out of it, whatever. Probably should have said something. I felt like it. Anyways, and that's the whole point of my story. So right now is uh I'm just spreading this out. I'll probably be good with the amount I mixed right now, actually. After I spread it out, so I did mix a good amount. I'm happy with the amount that I got mixed in here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good with this. You know, especially with the uh, floating floor going over it, and then the Luan, so I think we're gonna be good. But we're definitely gonna have to keep playing with it, getting it to where I wanna be. Could have probably actually mixed it a little bit wetter than this. Because sometimes when you mix it a little bit wetter, um, it tends to bleed in little crevices and stuff like that. But I think I, I did it good. I'm not saying I didn't, but just saying that a little bit wetter would have been a little bit more perfect. But who knows? Whatever. Alright, so right now we're just getting this. I'm trying to get this all up in the cracks and all that. Get it up in there. Right. So we got about maybe in some areas um, a half inch filled in in the center of uh, this pit that is in the middle of this floor. So that dip is probably gone now. Especially with that bucket just spilled up in here. Okay. I don't know if you can see me on this part of the camera. I think I had it everywhere where I had my outline. If you guys didn't catch the beginning of the video, I made an outline on where the dip was using the leveling bar. I talked about that. That's really important because then you know where to uh, where to spill the stuff and where to stop spreading it. Because the last thing you want to do is put somewhere you don't need it. So, like I said, this is my way of doing this. I've done it before with experience, hands-on, and it works. Um, so, that's about it. I'm not going to shoot any staples when I put the Luan, because we're putting Luan over this. I'm not going to shoot any staples um, through this, because it won't, it'll just shatter. You can probably use some type of liquid nails or something in between if you want. Um, I probably won't do that. I'll probably just let it be. So if you guys are doing vinyl plank flooring, you're probably good to just put it right on top. But I am putting the glue on because um, you're not really supposed to plank right over OSB. You're just not supposed to. It's got a lot of imperfections. And just imagine if a nail starts coming up, what's going to happen to your $4,000 floor you just spent on. So pay the extra $500 in material and, you know, another $500 in labor to get that, to get that uh, perfect look that you want. And it'll, it'll last a lot longer. Alright, so I think you guys pretty much get the idea here of what's going on. You're pretty much spreading it, and that's about it. So I'm just talking my head off, so you guys aren't bored just watching nothing. All right, so we talk about the weather, we talk about the president. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyways, you guys get the idea. So come back, wait about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes, feel it out. Take a little scraper after you use your leveling bar to check it out and scrape it back and forth to make sure you get out any little humps or lumps in your floor. But that's pretty much where my problem of the dip was. And that's how I um, level a floor that's got an imperfection in it. Leave a comment, tell me how you do it. Maybe you got a better way, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, mine's not the wrong way because it freaking works, all right? So have a good day, give me a thumbs up, that's all I ask. And thanks for watching.